Welcome back, everybody. Rudy with Alpha Investments. 2017 Rudy here to discuss uh, what the hell is really going on in the world and why half of you don't have two shits of what's understanding here in the behind the scenes and how dramatic what is actually going on is. I don't think you all, I, I don't think the general public, let, let, let's talk about the behind the scenes here. The, the infamous buy list with the major four or five stores that handle Magic the Gathering reserve list cards in the United States. Are we going to talk about this? So, these stores adjust and move the buy list based on the inventory and supply that they have in stock at the time. What do you guys want me to look professional? Is that the only way you guys are going to be willing to listen to me is if I look flipping professional? There, is that better? So, when a company has the card in stock, they don't really care much about the buy list because they have the inventory to sell. These companies make money in short-term churn and burn marketplaces. They're more of a market maker as they say on Wall Street. Their, their job is to get the cards from Timmy's who need capital and move it to more expensive Timmy's and idiots like me who buy at higher and higher prices. They're a middleman. They take the cut by moving it from A to B. You have to understand, everybody, when a card is in stock, they don't care as much about adjusting the buy list to attract more. They already have the inventory to sell and, and they're short term. Remember, they plan as far out to their nose. Stores have to operate by layers of management. It's like an onion. It's full of flipping stinky layers. And the more layers of management, the bigger the company is, the more money they have to churn and burn to pay their bills. So, for example, <laughs> if, you look at, if you look at a buy list of $700 a card, if that stays up there for months because nobody will sell them the card, they have to raise the damn price. They need to attract Timmy's to sell the card. Okay. If people don't sell to the buy list, the price will keep going up to lure in the Timmies to sell the reserve list. Why? Why? Because in 2020, they nuked the system. They're the ones that fucked it up, and they permanently changed the game. It is what it is. Do you guys want me to be honest? No, the rainbow and the butterflies, they, they flew by, and when Rudy rode the pony to middle school, and we all got to pet it after second period. You want to pet something? Go down to the basement with a popsicle. The reality is, this shit is dealing with like hundreds of millions of dollars. And these companies ha are trying to figure out a way to restock the reserve list. Because they got nuked. They were completely wiped out in 2020 because they made the worst financial decision ever made in modern magic history. These people drove the shit to the ground thinking the world was ending. Complete emotional response and didn't see through the clouds of what was going on. Why? Because you'd have to be a moron to stay the course in 2020. Am I right? What kind of moron would be dumb enough to put their money in magic and Pokemons as I usually owe your stepsister and stuck in the washing machine? What kind of moron's going to do that? You'd have to be an idiot to be buying and spending your liquid capital in 2020 buying all collectibles. Seriously. Literally, all three of your stepsisters are probably stuck in the washing machine. There's no way around it. And now, in 2021... Everybody realized, holy shit, the system is whacked out. And it's never going to be the same. If it is going to be the same, it's going to be 5, 10 years from now. Until we see some sort of rebalancing of the system. And that is another reason this is not a bubble. At least for vintage magic cards. These are not going to retrace 30, 40% like 2017. This is such a different beast. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in modern times. And I don't think we ever will again. And this was driven, and the ultimate fuel on the fire was the big guys. They caused it, and they're going to reap the nasty rewards of the situation. Because they're the ones that made the decision to dump it all, go hide in the fetal position, and burn it to the ground. Well, as they did that, all the product changed hands. And now, the product skyrocketed. Let's go back to how that works, folks. When you own Timmy's Emporium, Okay, your job is to churn the inventory daily, weekly, monthly. That's all you, you have X amount of capital available as Timmy's Emporium. Okay, when that reserve list underground C comes in and the buy list is 300 bucks, and you go, Cool, I'll buy it for 300. You put it on your website for 400, you sell it, you get little Sally out of the basement over here and say, Hey, Sally, pack it up. She packs it up, she ships it out. Yay! We made $100 gross, $50 net after paying and shipping fees, employees, and all kinds of inappropriate crap. Okay, you made 50 bucks. The people who do the market makers in this business, in the world of magic, they get little cuts. They're making their few dollars, they're doing their thing, and guess what? 
The problem is the ultimate issue. It's the same reason why you don't sell covered calls and options against securities you own. Because when the black swan event comes along and the price goes parabolic or it goes exponential and it, it goes from this to this, you can't reap. You miss the gap. If you miss the gap, you're out of giggities. You don't need your fucking tie anymore. And you just, you got clobbered. These companies all over the United States, almost every single magic store missed the gap upwards. No, it's just like Wall Street. Did you know most of the stock movements don't happen during market hours? It's when the stock closes and then the next morning you turn on some special TV show with people screaming at you saying that, oh, you're not a billionaire, you must be a loser. You know those channels? Yeah, those guys, most of the money, when you turn the TV on in the morning, the pre-market's already there. Because if you didn't own it the day before, it gaps up, you're out. You're actually shit out of luck. You missed most, most of the gains and returns in this world happen in really not normal hours. So we go back to the reserve list. All these guys that were churning reserve list cards, making their 20, 30 bucks to sustain their cash flow. Now we have a massive leg up in the market. And guess what happens? Guess what happens? Massive leg up in the market. And guess what? None of the stores had inventory to ride up the wealth appreciation. So what happened was anyone who bought in 2020 experienced extravagant beyond normal, I'm talking rocket ship emoji to the moon. I know other high-end collectors, investors, evil 3% beautiful ladies. I mean, people have made millions. I don't even know what the value of my reserveless collection has gone up. I don't know what the value of some other people I've talked to their collections. It has to have gone up. 5, 10, 20 million dollars per person on some of these people. It is beyond comprehension. Why? Because they flushed out the system in 2020 because they let emotion drive into the fetal position. And then you had other people scoop it all up for 20, 30, 40 cents on the dollar. And now, oh, because no, no, hold cash. Things are scary. The media says we're all going to die. Why are we going to buy magic cards? What's the shit, the point of that? And here we are. Here we are. Now, guess what? All these Timmy empires who think they know what the hell they're doing are trying to go, oh my God, we sold all the underground seas at 500. We were buy listing for 300. And now they gapped up to 1,000. We missed. So we were busy making our 20, 30, 40% cut, or percent, 30, $40, which is like 10, 20% cut. Now we missed out on 100, 200, 300% rates of return because we were churning and going, hey, I'm going to sell these cards. I make $10, I make 20 because they have a short-term mindset. They didn't believe, they don't see the long game that I've been seeing and preaching to the public for years. And again, I'm living in a third floor basement. I'm unemployed, right? You gonna listen to me? Why don't you listen to a licensed advisor, someone professional? You know you're professional if they got a fancy broker's thing, they got licenses, they're sitting behind a desk with Sally and they're pretending to look at porn all day. Well, they at least look at the market when you walk in the door. That's a professional broker. Those are the people you should be talking to. So, that's what happened, folks. And right now, people aren't buy listing to the store still. People are holding. And it's fueling further increases. Literally, a box of Stronghold, $5,000. Now, you can't even get them for $5,000. I saw a private one sell for $8,000 now. And you can't even, there's no buy list, doesn't matter because you can't get them. The market was flushed out. Because these morons are so short-sighted, they caused it. And then you got Papa Hasbro and Wizards going, flashy, 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 who shit cares, let's just pump, flashy, yay. And then they ruin credibility in the secondary market for any new, modern is literally, again, modern, remember, speed bump, Chick-fil-A, drive through modern, it's the speed bump. Nobody cares. There's no confidence. It has been wrecked. And because the confidence is gone, the money's flowing elsewhere. Wizards has to rebuild that confidence in standard modern era cards. Oh, Rudy, we need them cheap for the players. Good. Okay. Then you, congratulations. You hit your goal. You made newer modern cards cheap. You made standard cheap. You made popper. I, oh, I, God bless all the people out there who have popper, put all their money in the common cards. How's that retirement plan working out? Rudy, it's not an investment. You keep telling yourself that. I'm, I'm watching literally hundreds, if not a, at least 500 to 1,000 people who made millions, millions in appreciation. Welcome to the real world. This is 2021. You want me to tell you how it is? This is the real